We turn now to education. With the abrupt closing of schools across the nation due to the COVID-19 pandemic, parents, educators, and students are scrambling to find a new sense of normal in their remote learning environments. Their experience has been anything but textbook. Laura Siscomani, a working mother with six kids, describes the challenges she and her husband face now that everyone is at home all day. So day one, I had a schedule um, that I had drafted up just to give our family some sense of structure. By the end of the day, I scrapped it and we're back at the drawing table. Day two, we had a new schedule. At the end of the day, we scrapped it and we had to start all over again. It is a learning process. Cisco Mani reached out to other mothers. They found much needed support and are learning to take the pressure off themselves. Lowering the bar as a parent, as you know, now homeschooling children is I think a very mentally sound thing to do because um, if not, we're going to feel so overwhelmed that we will end up not enjoying our children and, and our family time. Teacher Chris Falk at Sahuarita Intermediate School also highlights the complexity of remote learning. I can't ask everyone to say, all right, everyone get on at eight o'clock, we're gonna do a math lesson now. Um, that's just not realistic when you have, you know, say a family has four kids in the house, that's four different teachers, four different teachers asking for bandwidth at any given time. And then that's if they have four computers. But he also sees a silver lining. For my fifth graders, this is a really awesome experience for them in terms of the online classroom aspect, because so much of our world is digital. So now when they do go to middle school or high school or college, they've already done online learning and they know how to manage their time. For Angela Valdivia, a University of Arizona nursing student, online learning couldn't come at a worse time. Before we transitioned to online learning, I would go to clinical two days a week. I get to meet the patients and I got to practice so many skills, you know, anywhere from starting an IV to learning about a mechanical ventilator. Now clinical hours consist of videos. We're given a case study, so basically a fake patient. This exclusive reliance on online learning may also affect Valdivia's nursing requirements. We need a specific number of hours in the hospital, and this makes me worried, one, because I'm going to lack the experience, and two, if these online hours are going to be accepted for our tests that we have to take once we graduate. University of Arizona professors Erica and Atari Galt are sympathetic to stories like Angela's and share concerns. My students told me they're struggling because they don't have the same technology at home. And that's, mm -hmm. uh, that, that's been concerning. The context of online teaching happening in a pandemic, there's become an emotional comp component uh, to the learning, I think, that is raining in on their learning experience. So figuring out some kinds of ways to channel that um, is something that the learning demands right now.